We're back now with a fascinating creature, the sloth. Zoologist and filmmaker Lucy Cook documented the adorable animals in a video three years ago, and it became a real hit online. You could say that again. And now she's sharing her love of sloths in a children's book called A Little Book of Sloth. And Lucy's here along with Cece the Sloth and Dr. Mark Vallatuto from the Staten Island Zoo. Good morning to all three of you. Hello. Lucy, you've kind of started this sloth craze. How did this all get started? Um, well, I mean, it started with the video, really, and I just, I just fell in love with sloths. I'm a zoologist. I've always been fascinated by their somewhat eccentric biology. Um, and I went to visit a sanctuary in Costa Rica that, was, that just looks after sloths. They've got 150, and I thought, that sounds like a good story. And I went to check it out, and it was amazing. But what was it about them? I might get puppies, kittens, rabbits, and that sort of... What was it about the sloth that you said, this is something I can spend a lot of time with? Well, they're genetically pre-programmed to hug. That's really? nice, isn't it? You know, and uh, and they smile all the time, and and you know they they've got a very kind of peculiar biology, and I think they're very misunderstood. So I want to make people understand. Well, let's that talk about that. I understand that they spend eighty percent of their time resting, mm -hmm. which I think we can all <laughs> relate to wanting to do. Absolutely. And but but so they're kind of get the people think they're lazy. I'm sorry, Cece, but that's what people think. <laughs> but actually, they're kind of efficient. Explain. Yeah, I mean, you know, people think that um, being slow is, is equated to being sort of stupid or, you know, lazy. But actually, it's an incredibly successful evolutionary strategy. Being fast is overrated. It's just one way to survive. And one of the main things <clears throat> they spend their energy on is that grip so they can hang. Is this their preferred position? That she's in right now? Yes, this is actually the upside down position that she does. Does she do ever trees. flip over and kind of walk around right side up? Uh, occasionally, when she's on the floor, she does crawl on her belly. Does she make any noises? She doesn't. She does. She's, you've never heard her make a noise? No, she actually hasn't made any. Anyhow, just some breathing. <laughs> a, a couple of odd facts yeah, let's get about this out. sloths, and you can tell me fact or fiction, all right, here? Sloths have no odor, no body odor at all. Is that true? That's absolutely true. It's, it's, it's part of their stealthy strategy. So they look and smell like a tree. In the wild they have green algae living in their fur. It's a whole microcosm. So they're really kind of very stealthy in that they don't, they, they don't, they look could Savannah tree. smell the sloth? <laughs> no, seriously, go ahead. No, no, do do wait, a no. personal no. test. Well, Just I go will. see. I will, but first I have to find out about this other fact or fiction item. Is it true that the sloth only uses the, the restroom once a week? Yes, that is true. And it Goes takes to the them bathroom once a week. Once a week, but it takes them a whole month to d digest just one leaf. So, you know, they don't need to go that often. <laughs> you call them actually? They're like? Did you say they're hanging di digesting bags? Yeah, that's basically that's what they are. They're, they're nature's couch potato, you know. But that's a good thing. That's a very uh, successful strategy. Once a week. Yeah, I go three times a night. I didn't need to know that. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't need to know. That's yeah. crazy. Thanks, thanks for sharing. What about predators? What are, what are their main enemies? Oh, their main enemy is the harpy eagle, which is this terrifying looking eagle, massive wingspan, giant talons the size of a grizzly bear. But they survive by um, disguising themselves as a tree. That's how they don't get noticed by the, by the harpy eagle. And, and their, their slow movements are thought to be so slow that they go under the radar of the harpy eagle as it's cruising around the um, treetops. And Dr. Mark, I see you feeding her carrots and cucumbers and all kinds of things. But what's the, the, the natural thing that you want to eat? Uh, the natural diet is actually leaves from the trees in the jungle that she's normally living in. So. And what about their numbers in the wild? I know you mentioned that sanctuary in Costa Rica. Mm. How are they doing? Well, I mean, they're very cryptic creatures, and there hasn't been very much scientific research into them, so that the, the exact numbers aren't really known. And um, there's a couple of species that we know are critically endangered, the poor old pygmy sloths of Panama. It's an island of dwarf sloths off the coast of Panama. And, and Lucy, you've written this book now. It yes. started with the video, now you've got the children's book, so you get to learn even more about these lovely yeah. creatures. You've got 10 seconds left to smell the sloth. <laughs> <laughs> you went, I'll investigate go ahead, go ahead. for the job. Journalism is going to bite me. Right yeah. okay. Lucy, doctor, yeah. thank you very Absolutely. much. What do you think? Beautiful. Like Nothing a tree. better than you, let's just say, okay? <laughs>